Hi, boys and girls, it's Mr. Merrill. Hey, I thought I'd read you a book while you're on your little break. Uh, this is a great book by Weird Al Yankovic. You've probably seen some of his uh, videos on YouTube. And the illustrator is Wes Hargis. So I'm going to get right to it. I got to hurry because they only give me a certain amount of time to record this thing. Here we go. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krupp's class. And Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we have show and tell. And this week's the subject so special to me was when I grow up, what was I going to be? You ever thought about that? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let those thoughts out. It's a new book, pages stick, but I'm doing my best. Oh, here we go. So when Mrs. Krupp said, who's ready to share? You could guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as I could go. And I bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Mrs. Krupp picked me. Yes, pick me to go first. Oh, was I happy. I thought I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration, connecting my choice for a future vocation. A vocation is your job. Ahem. Esteemed friends and colleagues, and dear Mrs. Krupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna. Surrounded by crumbs and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops. Bon appetit. Ooh, that sounds disgusting. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my twiggies, twi not twiggies, twinkies are rotten. So make reservations 12 years in advance. There, no doubt about it, I'm certain you'll see a world-renowned chef is what I am going to be. All right, here we go. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Miss Krupp said. Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold your phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on there. I've just started because I'm just, I'm just, you see, maybe uh, instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, the sticks will come back about a year later. <laughs> but working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt I like. Holy moly. I'll train them to pedal a bike real slowly. They'll jump, I mean, ooze through a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire. Then finish my writing my name with their tails. That's right. I'll be Billy, the master of snails. All right, snail trainer. That's interesting. Or else maybe I'll be a lathe operator. That means you're making things out of metal. Okay. Who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to, uh, to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade. That's directly beneath the main radial sockets inside cooling systems on X-14 rockets. And since there's professionals as cool as can be, well, who would be better at it than me? Check this job out. Say, here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. Oh, it's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow, and I'll bet all those cows need a break anyhow. 
Imagine me milking my way way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. Giraffe milk? What? Milking giraffes? Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered. How else can you make giraffe cheese? Now, don't interrupt me. I'm not really through. I said, there's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do. Because maybe I'll be a, mas a gorilla masseuse. That's massaging the gorilla. Or an artist who scopes out a chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown or a movie director or maybe a professional pickle inspector. Or maybe a big sumo wrestler or a hedge, uh, hedge fund investor or the best one of all. Or a smelly armpit deodorant tester. Whoa. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission or else foot model or friendly mortician or rider or skater or master debater or dinosaur dusting museum creator or a TV repairman or sidewalk side waver or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. Gotta shave those tarantulas. And that's about when Mrs. Crump said, now Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which of all those things are you going to choose? I shuffled my shoes and and looked around. And finally I said, my great grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things, had a whole bunch of joker of jobs. He's been a butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, a bingo announcer. Yeah, you know what? He just turned a hundred and then he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I only I'm only eight now, so frankly, I'm hoping. You'll cut me some slack if I leave options open. Just let me wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I thought, I have time to do all of those things. And then the bell rang and we all went to lunch and I was sipping pineapple punch. I pondered professions I'd rather like to enter, like the brave firefighter or a crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe, that's when I grow up, that I could be a great teacher like Mrs. Krupp. All right. So he decided that he wanted to be a teacher. That's a good profession to work for me. Hey, have a great day and try to stay out of trouble. And look for stories.